Good day, guys. Welcome back. So, um, we're here to talk about, um, what's the game? Visions of Mana. So, I've been playing it for the last few days. This is how I've been playing it on my Let's Plays and streams, as you may or may not know. And I've played it solo a few times. I haven't had much chance to play it solo because I've been pretty, um, disorganized. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk a bit of, about it. Um, so I've been playing, like I said, been playing it for a while, probably the last few days. Uh, I don't know where I am at in it. Based on what I read up, I am still early into the game. So, guys, this game is very faithful. I believe it's very faithful to the original um, Secret of Mana. Um, not 100%. So there's a few things about this game that I actually liked over Secret of Mana. So one of them, one of them is actually the leveling systems. Not so annoying so in secret mana for example um you when you uh, leveling up's a bit annoying because you got your main character stats you level up but you also got things like magic you had to level up and um weapons and unfortunately for that you they're, they're basically broken down to different weapons types of works for example it was like swords spears boomerangs and so on and to get them level up, you have to use them over and over. Not so much strong enemies, just constantly use them all the time. And that's how you level them up. And Magic, you had like seven, I believe, or seven elementals. And you had to use them over and over and over again to get them leveled up. So it wasn't a very straightforward leveling up system. But it was a good game, nevertheless. I didn't hate it or anything. It was just, yeah, it was a gun kind of those games. So it's a very, um, quite a bit of patience. And I wasn't really a big patient person back then. Sorry, guys. It's morning here, so I'm still slightly got rubbly eyes. So, yeah, this game, though, has a bit better, guys. One, there is a, so much. There's actually a it's very open world. I mean, it's not 100% open world. You can't go to anywhere in the, in the world or anything like that. It's more restricted in that, but... When you're moving around to different areas, the areas are w usually wide open, and you can do pretty much anything. You guys, so one of the things the game's getting you to do, especially early on, is go around looking for chests. Now, luckily for us, that kind of tells you what they are, which is probably a good or bad thing, depending how you look at it. For me, I think it, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's an that's an idea, guys. I mean, maybe they shouldn't have made it like that, but. Or well, maybe I should give you some something later in the game that appeals to a chest out or something to make it a little bit more fun. But uh, yeah, either way, guys, it makes no difference. I, I enjoy that. So anything that's interesting in the map, guys, that you can access now, the little I'll show on the mini map. So as you get further into the game, guys, you will get new classes and things like that. So for example, the first one you'll get is the um the wind dude, I forgot his name, Seppin, I think it was. Um and he basically gives you certain abilities like wind he's wind he's a wind elemental so he'll give you wind abilities like the um i think there's a weapon i forgot the name of it but it's basically a boomerang but it's like a, a wind boomerang but yeah but once you get him guys you basically break up the classes which means you can buy up weapons and gear and good stuff Luckily for us guys, you don't need to level them up individually. You you level them up as a whole, so don't worry about that part. It's not really tedious. Also, guys, one other thing I want to talk about was the enemies. The enemies are kind of interesting because they're in grips, and it's not a um, it's not a what do you call them? A random enemy. They don't just show up out of the blue or anything like that, which is fantastic. I like games like this. So if you want to fight the enemies, you can. If you don't want to fight them, you don't have to. You can just run around them or avoid them. And trust me, guys, there are some enemies you'll want to avoid. In the early game, guys, there's these places known as ruins. Um, do not go in there. I'll just I'll give you the heads up now. Do not go in there unless you want to die. Because when you go in there, guys, you can be level three or four at the time, and there the monsters in there are level 50, 51, So don't stand a chance. You're gonna get wiped out pretty easily. So avoid them areas um, for the time being. Try to avoid the, any things in there that you can collect as well. So don't try sneaking around and collecting it. Leave them. Because I recommend going back later, because later you'll be able to go there and then you can beat those monsters and have the satisfaction of actually beating them and getting the chest. That's what that's what how I'm gonna do it. Not to mention I think you've got to beat the monsters anyway, because I think there are treasure in there, but you can't get into actually beat all the enemies up. So yeah, I think that's a big thing. Um Yeah, I actually enjoy it, guys. This the story's actually pretty damn good. I mean, I don't agree with the story completely. I mean it's a bit 
rude that you got a selfish um, elm or a mana tree every, I don't know how often it is. I don't imagine it's that often. Every so often. But yeah, I think that's a bit rude. I mean, what does a mana tree want with people offering their souls? It sounds more like a, um, like a cult or maybe some sort of um, one of the older religions what they used to do in their, you know, they back in the old days where they used to sacrifice people for the, the, the god son and all that kind of stuff. I'm not really familiar with that kind of stuff, so I am probably going to get it wrong, but sue me. But yeah, guys, at the very beginning of the game, it's actually pretty good. It gives you a good explanation. It tells you what things are doing, how to do things as you get to them. So you've got bosses, which are good. Um, I like all the bosses, guys. The bosses are fun. The first boss I fought was the early one. Uh, he's super easy, so you should have no trouble doing it. The second one's a little bit harder, but it should be right as long as you don't. You won't have too much trouble, guys. Also, the other thing I noticed this game's superior over a second mana is the um, items. So, in the original, you can only carry four items at a time. So, for example, you can only carry four candies and four caps of wishes and things like that. This one doesn't look like it has a restriction. It does look like it restricts how many you can use them per battle. So I believe you can only use nine at a time. Now, that doesn't mean, doesn't mean that it's all you got. you got heaps. If you've got like 50 of them, you can only use nine per battle, which is, I guess, fair enough. I mean, here's the thing, guys. One of the characters, one of the early characters, actually, the Fire Elm, she has the ability to heal you a lot. So that's why I think it's like that, because you don't really need it. You're going to get healed up a fair bit, so it's not the worst thing. On the very beginning story, guys, I'll give you the hints of the story, so I'll just get you started. This is only the first 10 or 15 minutes, so I'm not going to go too far into it. So you start in the... In, I'm not sure the villagers' name, guys. I'm not good at remembering names, especially villagers, especially RPGs. It's just how it is. But basically, it's the Earth Village, I just call it. Uh, the Elm was trying to leave, which is a big mistake. In short, they end up getting into a lot of fights, and then she ends up defying against the out the um, elementals, and she gets frozen in place. Well, not frozen. She turns to stone. And yeah, the other guy she was with leaves town forever because what's happened? Because the um never done their wishes, the whole city gets frozen. Basically, becomes I believe it becomes stone. So the village is done for. You'll be discovering village, uh, certain areas like that. There's also another one to be further into the game. For the Elm of the Moon, that village is completely completely frozen solid. Uh, so I believe there's some areas that's already have been destroyed, but you've got other villages like the the fire one. You've got that one's good. Um, the wind one's pretty good too. you got a few hours. I think there's a few hours. I just haven't got too far into the game to actually explore that. I like it, guys. It's a fun game. It's pretty easy to level up. It doesn't require a huge amount of thinking. I mean, you're basically just slashing your weapons around. I mean, is that a good thing? Probably not. I mean, some people who are more into RPGs are probably going to complain about that part. But there is a bit of thought, especially when you get to certain enemies. I like the Nemesis ones. Them ones are the ones that you got to think a bit more. Because they're usually harder, got higher hit points, and they're usually higher level. So you got to think about them a bit more. It's usually two per, per area. So you can avoid them if you want. You can do what I'm planning to do. You just avoid them and come back a bit later when you're level a bit, like another few levels up, and then just deal with them and then move on. That's what we'll probably do. Okay, yeah, guys, I just wanted to explain what, how I think of the game. I think the game's really good. I like the cat screens. There's a lot of it, by the way. So. Be prepared that basically tells us where you're going. There's no real way to get lost in this game. If you know how to play RPGs and use a mini map, you'll have no trouble going from one place to another. But I'm recommending one thing, guys. When you're in a new area, try to explore the whole area before you get too far into the um, story so you don't get thrown somewhere else. Because sometimes it will throw you up and then you'll get stuck in an area and then you can't finish a video. All right, I'm just referring to one of my Let's Plays, actually the one I did yesterday. I got to an area, guys, where I wanted to save, and it wouldn't let me save because it's one of those areas that doesn't you can't save in. So I had to deal with the video, um, deal with that area, and then once I got out of it, I could save. But yeah, I enjoyed this game, guys. I hope you guys do too. Um, that's it. We're finished. Cheers.